Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. And we welcome you to Six in the City. We want you to know if you're watching this show on Tuesday, we're going to be on PBS tonight. That's right. They booked the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, so that'd be somebody I know. Who? <laughs> See, that's why. That's why. It's going to be that kind of night. We'll see it, you on Channel 11 fun. tonight. That's right. right. Yeah, so look, look for us on Channel 11. Yeah, we look and for, call in your pledge. Call in your pledge. Absolutely. Support PBS. we got a lot of folks here. Lynn Caldwell is with us. And Gia. And Gia's with us. And Gia's, Gia is up for adoption. So. She's been growling at me. so. But she likes me. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening there. Obviously, some, something wrong, fundamentally wrong with that dog, but <laughs> take it home and maybe you can cure her. And the fur ball is coming up, so we're going to hear yeah, all about that. We're going to find out that. about that. South Gibson High School got a special play coming up, and, and we will get all the details on that. Plus, who else is here? Chuck Freeman is here, but he's not going to be singing. He's actually going to be talking about Keep Tennessee Beautiful. That's right, because he's got a record that they he have picked up. And Mickey Utley is going to be with us That's performing. Right. So we're going to get all the details of that, plus hear from Mickey. And Sharon, Sharon Matthews, Matthews is with us and Philip Bogman. We're going to find out about the MICA Fund and the special 5K and all that coming up this week, this Saturday in Bolivar, Tennessee. And who else? Margaret Kimmins is here. She's a former school teacher, and right. she is um, works closely with the Follow Me Into Business program. And she's going to be telling us a little bit about that. And we've got registration for the summer program coming okay. up. Okay, all that's coming up. She's making her first appearance with us. That's right. Contrast, Lee Warren. That's right. She's is making well. Anyway, we just we won't. <laughs> we got a big concert we won't count coming the up. Hash marks back <laughs> here on the table. We got a big concert coming up this weekend in Jackson, Tennessee, with the Piano Men. The Piano Men. And we're going to get all the details on that and more as we jump into this six, six in, in the, the city. city. Smith, host of E Plus TV 6 cooking show At Home on the Rain. Our show features some of Jackson's best cooks, regular folks just like you and me that enjoy home entertaining and sharing their culinary skills. Join us each week as our guests share favorite family recipes, tips for entertaining, and delicious fare from the natural gas kitchens at Kaufman's Home Furnishings and Appliances. Have fun with local folks who are going to help you feel more at home on the range. First Baptist Church is about making disciples, building community, serving others, equipping families, and above all, glorifying God. We'd love to have you join us. First Baptist Church, for God, His gospel, and His glory. The future of Tennessee's economic success is directly tied to our broadband internet access. Having broadband access leads to an increase in educational and entrepreneurial opportunities, helping our state build a better workforce and accelerate job creation. Please help us make sure that every Tennessean's voice is heard on this important topic by taking the assessment at tn.gov broadband and passing it on to other members of your community. To six in the city. Lynn Caldwell is with us along with Gia. Gia. First time in a hat and first time on television. So how's Gia doing so far? I think I think, she, I think she's doing I think very she's doing well. As long as you don't get around her, she'll yeah, be just fine. She was growling. She's a little apprehensive about you, but <laughs> yeah, well, so am I. <laughs> Aren't we all? That, that's understandable. <laughs> Well, we have a couple of things to do. We want to get Gia adopted, find her a home, and, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But we, the fur ball is coming up. It is. All right, when's this going to be now? It's going to be March 19th. You know, this is the 18th annual. Is Can you right? believe that? 18th right. Wow, okay. It's, it's going to be at the, society, yeah, so. it's going to be at the Jackson Country Club. All proceeds benefit the Jackson Madison County Humane Society. You know, we're not funded by federal, state, county, or city governments. Well, raise it all. So yeah, all raise the proceeds all that wow. keep our, uh, keep our door open from uh, fundraisers, donations, memorials, honorariums. So anything and everything someone can give to the Humane Society saves the lives of these homeless sweet, animals. Sweet, sweet little right. things. Now, That's what time right. does it start? Starts at 6:30. You 6 must have reservations to attend, and you can okay. call me at 225. Okay. 5009 if you would like an invitation. I do have some at Parkway Animal Hospital okay. where you can pick okay. up the invitation and go ahead and leave your check because uh, the 14th the deadline. Well, for, 14 is the deadline. Okay. Of course, so it's, a, it's, a cater, uh -huh, it's a catered event, and so the country club's going to have a three-course gourmet meal, which will be wonderful. Okay. Mitch Carter's taking photographs. The proceeds will go to the Humane Society. Okay. We have a silent auction with a vast array of items donated uh, by the community.
community here in Jackson okay. and surrounding communities. Okay. And um, we're also going to have a pet parade. And guess what? <laughs> she is going to be there. She is going to be. be She's going to be the leader. Gonna be the leader. Uh, it will be her night to shine. <laughs> okay. She mm -hmm. is going she to debut. be. Okay. If, she's, if she's not adopted okay. before then. Okay. Right. And then our entertainment is the Joseph McKinney Project Band. Okay. 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 They are absolutely they're wonderful. fabulous. Terrific. They've got yeah. a horn section. So, um, All right. Well, let's talk Great some more event. about Gia. How old is Gia? Gia is a year, approximately a year old. You know, she okay. was she was found as a stray. They actually had to trap her because okay. uh, she was hard to catch. And then oh. once she came to the Humane Society, she just livened up. She loves it. She wants a forever home. A forever uh, home. She actually, I was told that she likes. Everybody, men, children, <laughs> well, except for Steve Bowers, <laughs> children, <laughs> other dogs, who won't be adopting her. other dogs. Uh, she <clears throat> just needs a little tutorial and potty training. Okay, okay. a little bit of work to be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but well, that can that can she, happen. She's just real laid back. She likes riding in the car, okay. and she likes the sunshine. Okay. And well, all right, so if you want to adopt Gia, what do you do? <clears throat> well, you can just go out to Twenty Three Pinnacle Drive. Okay. Fill out an application. Hundred and twenty-five dollar fee to adopt. That okay. adoption fee. All of our animals are tested. Okay. Uh, they're vaccinated and then they're altered because okay. it is a state law. If you adopt an animal from a shelter or a humane okay. society, that they okay. have to be spayed or neutered. Okay. We encourage everybody to spay and neuter your pets. Okay. So um, we encourage everybody to go out there and use adoption as your option. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So Gia can be in your home. <coughs> That's right. Oh, right. Yeah. Here does the hat that. come with her? <laughs> We will negotiate. <laughs> that is negotiable. But, but I'm pretty sure Close we can send the hat. <laughs> $150 with costume, right? Okay. All right, so go and see you. It's the right. 18th annual Furball. It's Furball. coming up at the Jackson Country Club. It's March 19th, but the deadline for, for reservations is March 14th. It okay. is. So. And I wanted to let everybody know, too, when you come to these events, um, the expenses are covered before you get there. Okay. So it's $100 a person. Okay. That entire $100 goes to the goes $100 goes to the Humane Society okay. because um, we have generous sponsors. We've okay. got Bruce and Dottie Doris, the City of Jackson, Antonia's Paw Spa, and Kirkland's Home. Okay, okay. very good. All right. So they underwrite all this, so the $100 they, goes to the Humane Society. They do. It's, it's wonderful. Great. Joe McKinney Project will be the uh, uh, performance. And fantastic. Be fantastic. I'm glad Joe's well and kicking That's and running right. still. All right. Well, Joe's good. Good to know that you'll be on stage. That will be next Saturday night, the 19th. The 19th. At the Jackson Country Club, 225-5009 to get tickets for all that. And then just go by the Humane Society and fill out the paper. That's right. Gia is yours. Gia can. If, if you want. Or, or, you know, there may be others there that you might want to check. All right. So she's but a year old. She's just she is. Oh, very good. Right, well, and glad. wise to men already. <laughs> already. That's I'm right. Glad, glad you smart, found her. Smart woman right here. Smart woman. <laughs> All right. It's good to see you, Lynn. It Always. It's good to have Thanks you. Thanks so, so much. We're going to find out about the Gibson, South Gibson High South School Gibson? musical coming up next on Six in the City. For more than 170 years, Lambeth has lived in the heart of Jackson. We've evolved without forgetting our roots. But now we're part of a major research university. Classes are still small. It's your potential that's bigger. More degrees, state-of-the-art facilities, nationally ranked programs, and a culture driven by doing. University of Memphis Lambeth. Nationally distinguished, locally yours. This commercial isn't going to shock you or make you laugh, but it just might save your life. Every one of these people is alive today because someone else took the time to give blood. Hopefully, the person that gives blood for you is watching this too. Do you have time? Please, give blood. Welcome back.
back to Six in the City, and Mickey Utley is with us. We're going to be hearing from him, and we'll find out more about a real special song that has been picked up by the state of Tennessee. We've got a lot of things to talk about coming up later in the day. But right now, we we're going to talk music in a different we get, way. we got a floor full. we got a floor and full a couch of folks full. here. South Gibson High School is getting ready for their Disney's High School Musical. Let's get it. Let's find everybody's name first. We'll just start right here with you. All right, I'm Ethan Hicks, and I'm playing Troy. Okay. I'm Emily McGill. I'm playing Gabriella. I'm Mallory Mayo. I play Sharpay Evans. Okay. I'm Kane Vester. I play Ryan Evans. All right. Folks here? I'm Olivia Joy Wright, and I play Kelsey Nielsen. I'm Marlis McCrone, and I play Jason Cross. I'm Ashley Jolle, and I play Taylor McKessie. I'm Sindel Knight, and I play Ms. Starbus. I'm Four Jones, and I play Chad uh, Danforth. My name's Brett Gardner. I play Martha Cox. Colton Lowry. I play Zeke. I'm Maddie Bowman. I play Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Could have fooled us. All right. So, not, not, well, anyway, we'll get into that in just a moment. All right. All right so tell us about this. Well, um, who wants to talk about High School Musical? <laughs> well, High School Musical is about a new girl that comes to the school. Her name's Gabriella. Okay. And she's a brainiac. And she tries out for the musical. Okay. And she's trying to get everyone to uh, come out of their shell and be who they want to be instead of what everyone else wants them to be. Okay. And she gets the help with Troy. And when they try out for the musical, Ryan and Sharpay don't like that, so they're trying to get everything to go back, and mostly it's about the conflict in between them. All right, so that sets up. Now, the performances are coming up this week, and they start on March, March the 10th, uh, 10th. 11th, so and 12th. So we got 12th. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 7, and then a Sunday matinee at 2 2.30? 2.30. 2.30. Okay. Now, how do we get tickets? Well, you can get <laughs> tickets through Miss Mary Hicks right there, and her number is, um, what's her number? This school's number it's seven eight three zero nine nine nine. And that's how you get tickets. Zero nine nine nine. All right, so talk to Mary. All right, yes. tickets are how much? And they are ten dollars in advance okay. for uh, adults and five dollars in advance for students. But if you don't have tickets and you show up at the door, they are twelve dollars. Okay. And uh, or you can email, and you get tickets that way at uh, h i c k s m at g c s s d dot org. All right. This high school musical is going to be at the South Gibson High School Auditorium uh, right there on Hornet Drive in, in Medina, Tennessee. Now, you have a music selection from this? Is that right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, let's take a break here for a moment and let's. Everybody ready? Five, six, seven. We're all in this together. Once we know that we are, we're all stars, and we see that we're all in this together. And it shows when we stand hand in hand, make our dreams come true. All right, very good. Very good. Very good. I don't know how they work through the microphones. The studio is wonderful. <laughs> hey, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, not, not quite even distribution of the microphones here, but, but anyway, we're gl glad to have, have you with us. All right, how long have you been working on this? We've been working on this since December, and we have about 50 people in the cast, so okay. we're really excited about it. Okay. First time in theater for everybody, or experienced, or first time? First we time. have a few freshmen. Okay. It's first time. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat dismissive of them, are we? Yeah, yeah, okay. We have what a few about, freshmen. Now, what about Jack the River? How did you get to be Jack the River? Uh, I don't, I don't know. He's just, he's a soloist in status quo, okay. and I guess like I'm kind of tomboyish, and so right. I just got that part. I got that part. So. <laughs> did, did you try out for that, or did they assign that one? I got assigned to that assigned one. Oh. <laughs> Did you fire your agent? Uh, uh, I, I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that is not what I had in mind when I got into all, all, all of this. All right. All right, so we're going to start this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Is this the, where are we in the year? Yeah, this will be the final well, production for the year, isn't it? Right. Yes, sir. Right, how many of you are graduating? Oh, okay, wow. several. So we're going to be starting over then. All right. But you're graduating the first time you got into the theater. Yes, sir. All right, so what happened? Well, it was most of him. He talked. He talked me into trying out. Okay. And, you know, I told is, the director. Is he a friend? I, he's yeah. He's <laughs> my, he's my that's my that's my guy right there. He okay. was. He was. <laughs> no, I've I've enjoyed it. It's a great time. Okay. So, so it was a worthwhile experience. Yeah. Okay. Do you wish you'd gotten into it earlier now? Uh, no, I had I had a lot of stuff oh, going no, on, no. but <laughs> I, I had I had some free time open right. up, so I was like, you know, I might as well do so something with it. And I'm glad I did. Some free time. I'm good. All right. Well, it's good to have all of you here. It is. It's good to have you yeah, guys. Yeah, we really appreciate Thanks, it, and, and, and so it'll, it'll be great fun. It starts this Thursday evening, and the presentations are at 7 o'clock Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 
with a Sunday matinee at 2.30. And the number is 7830999. You'll be talking to Mary to get tickets. It's good to see all it of you. It is. Good to have you guys. It was good to see you. I appreciate y'all being here. Great to have you. Good luck. Thank the you. high school musical. Thanks. And this is at South Gibson High School in Medina. in Medina. We're going to the main stage. We're delighted to have him with us, the recording artist for Tough Duck Records. Welcome, Mickey Utley. It's been a long, hard week, leaving nine to five behind. Time of sitting in this back seat of this blue collar life. Got a good woman waiting on me, hold her hard to find. Got my cowboy killers, ice down mirrors, here 30 times. Now I'm sitting on the back porch, rocking on the back step, looking out at dandelions. Crickets in the birds are singing all the words, the rowdy friends and walk that line. With the sun going down, the moon's coming around, seat on the very front row. Look out, y'all, here I am again at my Friday night rock show. Down by the lake, there's a rusty old Chevy we used to have a life. Rolling down the back roads, hauling all the big loads, giving everything. It's got There's a stump of an old old tree It's just up around the bed My granddaddy, he cut it down Made this chair I'm sitting in So now I'm sitting on the back porch Rocking on the back step Looking out at dandelions Crickets and the birds are singing all the words The riding friends are walking by With the sun going down The moon's coming around Seat on the very front row Look out y'all, here I am again At my Friday night rock show On my back porch, rocking on my back step, looking out at dandelions. Crickets and the birds are singing all the words, the rowdy friends and walk that line. With the sun going down, the moon's coming around, seat on the very front row. Look out, y'all, here I am again at my Friday night rock show. Friday night a rock show. Oh 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 oh. Friday night a rock show. Oh 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 oh. Friday night a rock show. Oh 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 oh. Jackson Police. What do they do? And why do they do what they do? E Plus TV6 Roll Call, an update on the people and the work of the Jackson Police Department. A new show every two weeks. What they do and what we can do to make a difference in Jackson. Roll Call now includes you exclusively on E Plus TV6. The DVR. It changes the way you watch TV forever. DVR service lets you instantly record a single show or an entire season and even pause live TV with a push of a button. And now E Plus Broadband can set you up with multi-room DVR so you can play, pause, control your TV choices from any room in your home. Start a show in one room, finish in another. It will change your life. Learn more about multi-room DVR. Call or visit ePlusBroadband.com today. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included with your E-Plus Broadband Cable TV for no extra cost. 
Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Visit eplusbroadband.com to learn more. Welcome back to Six in the City, and we'll have more with Mickey Ellie from the studio. We also have a special video performance coming up, and here to set the stage for all that is Chuck Freeman, among other things in life, and he's been a guest of ours frequently and has he performed is. with the. Well, let's see. First time I guess we saw you was with the Tony, uh, Tommy Akers Tom, band. Tommy, Tommy Akers, band. That's yeah. Right. Then Chuck has, has done a Studio Six with us with his own band, and he is now the proprietor of Tough Duck Recording, Tough Duck Records. And uh, so we got a story to tell. It's good to have you on the couch with us. So well, thank you. I was I was just saying it's the first time I've ever been on the couch. Yeah, it's very been comfortable. Been the show. I like it. <laughs> been in the show for years and finally got to come over and, and set up. Tell me about Tough Duck Records. What are you trying uh, to do here? Well. We decided we wanted to be uh, in the music business and I wanted to produce a couple of records. And the, the first one we did was Running From Love, which we debuted on uh, uh, Six in the City probably three or four years ago. Uh, and then I hooked up with Mickey and I had performed with Mickey out on the road some. Uh, and he called me in October of, uh, I believe it was 2013 or 14 okay. and said, hey, uh, I've got some songs, I'd like you to listen to them and, and who do you think might record them? Okay. So I talked to Jimmy Exum, we went over to Jackson Records and we recorded seven songs, which became the album, okay. Get It, Get It. Get It, Get It, okay. And one of the songs on the album was You, Me, and Tennessee. All right. And this led to a hookup with the Keep Tennessee Beautiful people. All right. How did that happen, Chuck? Uh, well, I, I met Missy Marshall, and I've got to take a minute to make uh, Missy's apology. Uh, she's real sick, okay. and I've, I've known her for a few months now, and she would be here because okay. she is a ball of fire, and she's very <laughs> passionate about this She directs cause. Keep Tennessee Beautiful. She is the executive director of the Keep Tennessee Beautiful organization. Okay. Now, the Keep Tennessee Beautiful organization is funded by the Department of Transportation in the state of Tennessee. Okay. She's the executive director of it, and they have a board of directors. And uh, Jenna Herbison, who had done some publicity work for our label, Tough Duck Records, had asked us to, uh, to meet with Missy. Okay. And uh, we went to Memphis and had a, a luncheon meeting with Missy Marshall and our artist, Mickey Utley, and we discussed uh, the Keep Tennessee uh, program, uh, Keep Tennessee Beautiful. And she had heard the song, You, Me, in Tennessee, and we were wondering if there was a way to adapt it so they could use it uh, to make people aware okay. of Keep Tennessee Beautiful Organization and to keep people from throwing trash. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, there you go. Yeah. All right, yeah. So they have decided to use the song. How will they be using this? We're going to hear the song coming up in just a moment and see the video. Uh, they're going to use the song as a PSA. Okay. We adapted that. We produced a PSA that's... Uh, a video PSA, which is approximately 44 seconds long, okay. and that went out this week to every county in Tennessee. It will be on every TV station, the cable stations, to play it. We also okay. produced a PSA audio, uh, a long one and a short one. Some stations prefer a short one. It's 22 okay. seconds, and I believe that one's about 40 seconds. Okay. And we produced those, and we have the YouTube link, which we're going to see next, uh, of a video that we produced to show all of the beautiful sights all across oh. the state of Tennessee, and it kind of showcases... Uh, Mickey Utley and the band doing the song, and we're hoping that uh, that the hookup between Keep Tennessee Beautiful and the song uh, will help to accent the positive okay. about Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, we had a copy of the CD. It's Mickey Utley. Get it, get it from which the song is is, is taken. Moving to the other side of this business, because you know, you've been a performer and all this stuff all your life, right? Writer and everything else. So what's this been like? Uh, it's been like herding cats. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think I, that I would be sitting here or some of the things that I've done in the last month. Uh, we, we debuted the video at the Pyramid at the Bass Pro Shop okay. uh, on the 29th right. uh, before uh, the uh, affiliates all from the state came there okay. for a luncheon. Okay. Okay. Uh, it was unbelievable. The first person to speak was the county mayor of Shelby County, Shelby County and then the city mayor. And then uh, the uh, commissioner of the Department of Transportation, then me. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I got to introduce the song. Uh, and needless to say, I was nervous. And uh, wow. but uh, everyone there has been so nice. Uh, this has just been a really uh, a labor of love. It's okay. you know one of those things that just uh, you, me, in Tennessee keep Tennessee beautiful. Whatever. Right. It just, just works. Right. It just works. Okay. All right. Who wrote the song? Uh, the song was written by Mickey Utley, who okay. you just heard before. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Craig and Michael Williams. Okay. Now, uh, Jimmy is over in Little Rock, Arkansas, and Michael Williams is down in, I believe he's in Tampa, Florida right now, oh. and the three of them were on the road together, okay. and in one of their writing sessions, they had started writing this love song, 
And that's basically what oh, New Tennessee okay. is. It's a love song about two people okay. traveling to beautiful places in Tennessee. Tennessee. All right. Hmm. Chuck Freeman was with us. Tough Duck Records is the label. Mickey Utley is the artist. <coughs> and uh, we're going to see this. This is the video that goes along with the uh, theme now from, for You, Me, and Tennessee for Keep Tennessee Beautiful. Chuck, it's good to see you. Thank you. Good to have and you. Our thanks to everybody. This is Mickey Utley and You, Me, and Tennessee. For southeast of Nashville Found ourselves on the other side Of Sea Rock City Ruby Falls lights up At the sound of you laughing It's beautiful again today We sang along with good old mountain from Bristol on the way to Gatlinburg We sat up in that chalet till morning And God gave us way more than we deserve And when we dream, we dream together you know as far as eyes can see From one road to another Always together You, me, and Tennessee And when we dream, we dream together You know as far as eyes can see From one road to another Always together You, me, Tennessee This commercial isn't going to shock you or make you laugh, but it just might 
save your life. Every one of these people is alive today because someone else took the time to give blood. Hopefully, the person that gives blood for you is watching this too. Do you have time? Please, give blood. Ready, set, go for it. Adventure. This is your GAC. In 1986, my life changed forever when I struck three buried high voltage cables while working on an excavation site. 30,000 volts of electricity blew through my body. I'm lucky to be alive and able to walk again. Today, Accidents like mine can be avoided with a simple call to 811 in order to have your dig site marked. Always call 811 before digging and be a hero. Respect the flags. Brought to you by Tennessee 811. Welcome back to Six in the City. We got a queue coming in here. Yes, we do. When they say you're up already, that's not a good sign. That's not. We're having our own little conversation <laughs> gotta, here. And it's not yeah. about shoes. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah, and these, these women were on the set, and we're not talking about shoes. This is one time. <laughs> we're actually talking about the subject at hand. That's right. And, and so we're, we're delighted to have this opportunity to talk about the, uh, the Micah Fund and, and all the things that are, that are coming up with us. And Sharon Massey is with us, and, and Sharon is working right now with us uh, on a, the current additional roll call out there. And then Philip Barm is with us as well. They're here to talk about the Team Mica Fund and a special event that is coming up this weekend in Bolivar, Tennessee. It'll be Saturday. We'll want to get details of that in just a moment. Let's talk about Micah and this fund. How did this start? What's the circumstance here? Um, Micah died by suicide um, December the 16th of 2011. And she was what age? Oh, 29. Okay. 29. Young. And very young. And the day before was her birthday, actually. Wow. Um, okay. And her best friend slash cousin was devastated by the whole thing we the three of us grew up in bolivar same age same grade okay and couldn't fathom that this had happened and being best friends she didn't know what to do and how to eternalize everything and so she thought what better way than to come up with a way to help zero suicide okay. suicide prevention and philip come on in here all right, all right so <laughs> philip how'd you get involved in this well actually i'm also from from hardeman county from Bolivar, okay. tennessee as well okay. but i also work with lakeside behavioral health hospital okay then would you hold that mark a little closer okay, a little closer. okay. okay. and um, so what I, I i did was i am involved with the t-span which is tennessee suicide prevention network and that's which how we came team michael together. that's how okay. we came to know each other okay and to, to get involved and so when this came up these runs and things like this I really wanted to be a part of that because working with Lakeside I see so many more people that come to us because okay. of suicidal ideation and things like that that need okay. help. Rates are up help. from what I hear right? They are in fact right. Particularly among people that are young. Okay. Among people that are young you know really Steve for every suicide where a person dies from suicide there are 25 other attempts they, right. they did not die. die. Okay. And those are a lot of the patients that we so get. So what is the key then in prevention of this? I mean, that... Awareness. Okay. That's one of the main reasons we're doing this, is, okay. is to help people realize that you're not the only one. Breaking They're the stigma. Breaking okay. that stigma of that. In fact, we've had walks before. In fact, the first one we had here in Jackson, Tennessee, we actually had two people come over that were at the farmer's market. They came over where we were and told us, you know, I've actually been thinking about this. And so we were able to, to work with them wow. and get them to some people that could help them. So can help. are there, I mean, when, when Coach Lisa out of the Union mm -hmm. took her own life, it was just a stunning thing because we'd done some work Absolutely. together. And, you know, and you start, and I was not around her very much at all, but you start replaying. It's like, are there mm -hmm. signs? Are there indications? Right. Are there things that we should look for? There are. Sure, absolutely. Okay. There, there's, you know, a lot of things. Depression is, is one of the major things, but okay. so many other things might go into that. I mean, sudden changes, maybe, maybe there, a sudden loss in weight, or maybe an increase in weight. You just, okay. drastic changes in their lives right. could possibly okay. be some things that could happen. A, 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 a teenager but if you start sensing this, then what, I mean, you can't go up and say, well, Cassandra, but, you know, you think about killing yourself. Yeah. Right, I mean, that's, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that's but the idea you, is that you can't, but you can. You can, so, okay. That's, people are afraid. It's, that's why we call it breaking the stigma. The okay. idea is that 
just because you think it doesn't mean that you can't approach that person because approaching them may m make all the difference make in the world the because the world, then yeah. the weight is off their shoulders. So they feel saying. like they're able to talk and say, hey, okay. it's a mental illness just okay. like anything else. Okay. If you go to, if, if, if you have back pain, you go to the doctor and say, I have back pain. Right. Then they okay. treat you for that. And it's the same thing with suicide prevention. We're talking about the Team MICA Fund and uh, wanted for you to be aware of its history. There's a special event coming up this Saturday. It's going to be at downtown Bolivar. It'll start at what time? It, um, registration starts at 4 o'clock. Is this a 5K and yes, what 5K else? 5K and a fun, fun run. run. and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Um, silent auction, food, all that good stuff. Um, the race starts at 5 and at 4.30 we've got two keynote speakers that have lost um, a family member in suicide okay. and they're going to be talking about their story. All right. So it'll start 4.30 4 afternoon with the presentation? 4, uh -huh, 4, 4 o'clock for registration and then at 4.30 and then the, the, the race starts at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 5 o'clock. <coughs> and it's right there on the square in Ballroom. Absolutely. On the square. Okay. Yeah. Now, is there a website or Facebook where we can follow uh, all this stuff as well? Team Micah Fund. Uh, team Micah Fund. Dot org. Dot org. Dot org. org. Okay. Mm -hmm. Team Micah Fund. Dot org. Facebook page. Team well. Micah Fund. Okay. Team, team and that's Micah. where we can go to register for the race? Uh, or team Micah Fund. Dot org. Registration. Okay. And you can register the day of as well. Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, there'll be a lot of, you know, there'll be live music and face painting and photo booth and a lot of other things. So plus there's a whole lot more to do than yeah. just run. Just so bring the whole yeah. family. Yeah. You'd appreciate this yeah. when, you're, when you're done and it's a glow run. You yes. get a heart. That's a purpose for life. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Very good. All right. Everybody. Well, special cost, teammicafund.org. What's right. the registration fee? It's $20, $20 a day of, okay. 15 before. 15 before. Okay. 20 Let's get Good to see you both. Good you to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. With more as we continue Six in the City. The future of Tennessee's economic success is directly tied to our broadband internet access. Having broadband access leads to an increase in educational and entrepreneurial opportunities, helping our state build a better workforce and accelerate job creation. Please help us make sure that every Tennessean's voice is heard on this important topic by taking the assessment at tn.gov broadband and passing it on to other members of your community. Look around this league right now. Something is happening. Something is different. The game hasn't changed. We've just never seen it like this. The NBA on ESPN all season long. living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included with your E-Plus broadband cable TV for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Visit eplusbroadband.com to learn more. Welcome back to Six in the City. We'll have more from Mickey Utley coming up. We'll talk to him before we get away today. I appreciate him being with us. Right now, Margaret Kimmons is with us, and she is a former school teacher. She is here to talk about a very, very special program. It's the Follow Me Into Business program that is done each summer and has been for many years now with the African American Chamber of Commerce. Good to have you with us. Well, First time you. on the show? Yes. Right, did you retire from teaching how long ago? Six years ago. Six years, Six years ago. ago. Where'd you, you teach? It? In Jackson, Madison County. Yeah. Jackson, Madison County. Oh. You missed it, or are you glad to be out there? I just retired, but I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still out still there. Still out And you're still obviously involved. She never again. really, she never really, never really left stopped. it. That's right. No, yeah, yeah, I'm still involved. Well, all right. Well, very good. It's good, good to have you with us. Or right, tell us about the Follow Me Into Business program. Okay. The Follow Me In Business program serves ages 12 through 15 during the summer uh, for two days a week, uh, okay. Thursday and Friday. Okay. Uh, they will be housed at the Neil Huntsman's Complex, which is on Royal Street. Okay. Uh, we are now recruiting young people for this project. Uh, the 12 year old students will be uh, coming from TR White. Okay. They will be transported, uh, so the parents won't have to worry about getting them there. Uh, the recruitment dates will be spring break, which is March the 21st through the 25th. Okay, that's and next they, week then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that's a good timing. And they may contact Neil and husband okay. at 422-3341. 422-3341. Okay. Or either the Chamber's office, which is 424-2030. Okay. Talk about the African Americans. So 12, 13, 14, and 15 year olds, and, and you can start signing up now. Right? Yes, talk, no, talk spring break, the 21st. The 21st. All right, the 21st <laughs> to the 25th of this month. We do the final week. I said next week, but actually the week, week after. after. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're getting ready to do this. What happens during this program then? During, during the this program, they get a chance to do, have workshops, they have guest speakers. Uh, we they do role playing. Um, they also, they also we take the city tour. Okay. Last year we had the opportunity to visit some plants in Jackson, okay. and we also visited the JEA office. Okay. Um, so we, that was a really nice experience for all of us. So it's, and they learn how to communicate with each other, how to talk. Okay. Um, and learn how to say the right things. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it's all about. So it, it, it's it's. To encourage people, you know, becoming employed or starting their own businesses or whatever, just seeing what's out there. Seeing what's them. out there. Right. And also during this, this past summer, we had the opportunity to be on Lane's campus for, the, for four weeks, uh, from one to three, and they were given um, an update on community skills, computer okay. skills, rather. Okay. And it was very inspirational to them because they learned how to do their resumes and just any little uh, PowerPoints and things that they might not normally do in the school system. Mm -hmm. Now, if a parent, <coughs> grandparent, whatever, if, if you've got a youngster you think could benefit from this program, once again, you call Nell at 422-3341, right. 422-3341, or 424-2030. We'll do that the last week of this month during spring break, the 21st to the 25th. This then the program week. actually started then right after school. The, the, it will start on June the 2nd. Second. Okay. And it goes through how long? Uh, until July the 21st. Right, July so 21st. And on, on, on that day, they would take a city tour. Oh, okay. that's the city right. tour. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you see happening with these young people then as a result of this? As a <coughs> former teacher or educator, if you wish, I, I, there's a very much need for it. Okay. Um, Sometimes our kids have some opportunities that they don't sh understand, but during this program, they learn how to be positive. And okay. so that's really the thing in this society that we need to have more positive things for our young people. Okay. I wish that all the young people of that age could be served, but it can't be. Okay. But for those that uh, will be able to take this opportunity, we're going to do what we can. To Is there a limit, sure. limit to the program as far no. as number? Well, no. Uh, is not. Um, last year we had about 65. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. wow. And the 12 year old came from T.R. White, but also, I'll, if I'm not, I think that if there's a 12 year old in the city and the parents wish to take part in this, they can, that they can contact okay. us. So you All don't right. have to be. Well, you know about this program, and it's, it's making a difference. It's been underway for several years. It's one of the key projects of the African American Chamber of Commerce. It'll be done this summer. The registration starts the 21st through the 25th. Once again, that number, 422-3341. You'll be talking to Nell Huntsman or the Chamber at 424-2030. Margaret, a real pleasure having you with us. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you continuing to be involved with these young people. That's right. These lives. Making a difference in their lives. Certainly the case. We're going back to the main stage. We welcome once again the very talented Mickey Utley. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only Life we will see I won't cry I won't cry For I won't Shed a tear Just as long As you stand Stand by me So darling Darling Stand by me Oh stand By me Stand, stand by me, stand by me. Yet the sky that we look upon should crumble and fall. For the mountains is the only 
like we were seen. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand me by me. Oh, stand, stand by me. Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand me by me Oh, stand Stand by me, stand by me. Now get even more channels with your E Plus broadband cable subscription. Check out the new channel. In the expanded tier, we moved BBC America to channels 86 to 86 HD. In the Digital Plus tier, we added the Independent Film Channel, channels 112 and 712 HD, and Sundance TV on 108, 708 HD. For a copy of the new lineup, go to eplusbroadband.com. Utility infrastructure often coordinates with streets and highways. Much of the work performed by utility crews is done in proximity to traffic. Tennessee has added utility crews to the mandated clearance for emergency and law enforcement personnel. When lights are flashing, crews are working, traffic should move over an additional lane. If a lane gap is not available, traffic should slow. The Jackson Energy Authority thanks the drivers of Jackson for your cooperation in Move Over Tennessee, promoting the work and safety of JEA personnel. With the whole family online these days, speed matters. Good thing E Plus Broadband has the consistent speeds it takes to keep everyone happy. In the den with the tablet, streaming a movie in HD, on the home office computer, and using Wi-Fi on a smartphone instead of using up your data plan. It can all happen at once with no waiting. Speed matters. Call, click, or visit Jackson Energy Authority to get set up with E Plus Broadband Internet today. with Mickey Ellie coming up. Tony Rossi is with him today, so we're glad to have them. That's right. It's a real it's been pleasure. A pleasure. And we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more about the CD and, and other things going on in his career as well. Lee Warren is with us. He is the executive director of the Jackson Symphony, and we have a special concert coming up this Saturday night, the 12th, the 12th. at the Carl Perkins Civic Center starting mm -hmm. at 7.30, and we're going to do the Piano Men. We're going to do the Piano Men. All right, so they here we go. They have performed from... Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, all across this country. <laughs> okay, okay. And they're to they're this Saturday night, they're going to be doing the music of Billy Joel and Elton John. No, Elton oh, John. wow. So I'm sure we'll have some dancing in the eyes. I'm, I'm sure. So. And I'm so excited because the new choral teacher, the choir teacher at okay. North Side High School, okay. is going to be singing with them, too. Oh, is there a oh, wow. ask for a young mezzo who can yeah. sing with sing them. Okay. And so we're just so proud that we have a teacher in this school system. She's what a great opportunity. Union. She's okay. going to come be on stage with us. So we're well, going to have some local action, well, so too. So who are these guys? Well, What's these guys actually live in Portland, Maine. Okay. And uh, he, Joe Boucher, who is our main artist on okay. stage that night, and the other three guys are backing him up. We've okay. got two guitarists and electric drums. Okay. Oh. What are electric drums? I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy it. They don't take up as much space. <laughs> oh, okay. They, Joe and, and the other guys uh, are from Portland, Maine, and Joe is a classical pianist, but he loves the music of Billy Joel and Elton John. He's also a composer. Okay. He orchestrated uh, all of this music. Now, Billy, wow. jo Billy Joel and Elton John 
performed with orchestras, some during their career, right, but you right, know, right. most orchestras <clears throat> probably can't afford, can't afford that. that. Right. Yeah. But uh, Joe is going to bring the music to us, and okay. I'm telling you, they sound just like. Now, has he wow. worked with Peter Shannon prior to this? No, no, no never we're so yet. excited. So, okay. I'm so how, excited. Did, how did you guys come across him? Well, you know, we go to conferences at the American Symphony Orchestra League, and we have artists that submit information to us. And, uh, you know, we found him. He contacted us, and uh, it was just a marvelous opportunity. I mean, here he is with the music already orchestrated. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I told Mike Utley we need to orchestrate you, me, in Tennessee. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. So board members, I spent a little money today. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if you're watching, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> okay. let's orchestrate that and get him with the Jackson <laughs> Symphony before it. Nashville does. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Go, I'm right. trying not to do Nashville Symphony right <laughs> now. Well, that's and where, yeah, where well, are we? I'm glad we made that connection. <laughs> <laughs> made that connection. Concert really starts excited. at 730. 7.30. It's going to be a rainy day. Just come on down to yeah. the Civic right. Center. We have some Balcony seats left, which I love to sit in the balcony, Steve. Right. I don't know about you. I like yeah, it up I there. like the balcony. Yeah, you can yeah. really have good sight line. You can hear the hear sound the comes sound. right up. The music fans are in the balcony. Music yeah. fans, the partiers are downstairs at the <laughs> silver tables. They are. That's right. And, and they're having music. a great time, and they're almost all sold. We okay. almost have sold all the tables. Okay. I think when I left the office, there was still a couple available. All right, so if you want so to grab I the say table. call okay. Vadessa at the office, 427-6440, okay. and she can help you, or you can go online. Okay. At the Jackson Symphony dot o r g. Now the logistics of this. He's got all this music. It's already yeah. arranged and everything. So he arrives in town when? Well, he's coming. They're coming in on Friday. And we Friday, have Friday. two rehearsals: Friday, Friday. night and okay. Saturday morning. Okay. And our color music presentation, our awards That's ceremony, right. Well, right. is, 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 is Saturday, Saturday the afternoon. afternoon. That's okay. right. We'll be giving our awards. Now to that artwork so will, that will be on display. When? The artwork when? is up as of tomorrow. Uh, okay. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. I'm losing track of the days here. So you'll be on display at the Civic Center. It'll be on display at the Civic Center, people can come on down and enjoy it's that as well. Thing. But they'll be on stage, they arrive, we already have their music. The orchestra, our, our orchestra members already have their music. So, oh, wow. so hopefully already. they're practicing. All right. Peter tells them to practice. <laughs> and uh, and so when they come, they'll be prepared to begin work on the music okay. with these gentlemen and get a little rock and roll style okay. going with their classical oh, music, music style. It's going to be right. so fun. It will sounds it be all like that? <laughs> will there be some other pieces or is it all? Oh, it's all Billy Joel and Elton John. <laughs> okay. right, and good. it alternates between Billy Joel and Elton John yeah. songs all okay. All evening long, right. so it's going to be really well, if you're a fan, great amount be of fun. It should be a, a, a great Joel's experience. Be at the FedEx Forum. This will be a yeah. Lot we can't closer. afford him. That's yeah, right. That's what I say. <laughs> if you want to sit behind Don't him and see anywhere. the back of his head, it'll cost <laughs> you right. thirty or forty bucks. That's right. <laughs> You want to see the front of it? I think they already got it. It was like two hundred dollars. Yeah. So this is this is a great deal. Yeah. We're it proud is. of our Jackson Symphony. Yeah, absolutely. Fully okay. professional right. orchestra here in the okay. middle of West Tennessee. Tennessee all right. Great people. It's a special night. This coming it Saturday is. night, March the twelfth. It is the piano the man. The piano man. Eldon John, Billy Joel, and and so it was the Jackson Symphony, Peter Shannon, the Jackson Symphony, and we have a, a new talent. Not a new talent, but a well, talent she, we're going she to showcase. Well, she studied at Union, okay. and she is now teaching in our school district teacher, okay. and working uh, as a music teacher, choral teacher at Northside High School. So, so okay. we can say local. Talent. Right, I'd sure. really love to see some of her kids come, yeah, so I'll okay, talk more about that. Yeah, you should. Get your tickets, 427-6440, or go to thejacksonsymphony.org, Org. and we will see you Saturday night. I'll see you Saturday night. Right. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you yeah, so really much. Forward. How exciting. Time. It's going to be awesome show. Don't miss this at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. We're back with more as we continue Six in the City. Jackson 24-7 continues this summer as your source for perspective on people, issues, and key decisions facing our community. Whether it's the economic challenges facing public education, the battle in the streets for local law enforcement, or a bold new leader for higher education. Jackson 24-7 brings you the key questions and answers every day at noon, 4, 6.30, and 9.30 on E-Plus TV 6. Okay, Josh, do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't do the only guy. Sometimes you gotta live with what you believe up in your arms. Cause that's where it's from. Right here with you and with me. But no world is not is love. Generosity, pass it on. A little from up above. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. 
the DVR. It changes the way you watch TV forever. DVR service lets you instantly record a single show or an entire season and even pause live TV with a push of a button. And now E Plus Broadband can set you up with multi-room DVR so you can play, pause, control your TV choices from any room in your home. Start a show in one room, finish in another. It will change your life. Learn more about multi-room DVR. Call or visit ePlusBroadband.com today. Well, I just heard a vicious rumor <laughs> that we go to daylight time this coming Sunday. Is it this Sunday? It's this, this, this Sunday, Sunday, March 13th. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I've been to church early. I'll have to tell my sister that. She'll yeah, be excited because right? March 13th. I'll be at church are... early or church late. <laughs> I forget. If I forget. You're probably going to be late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we'll see. Everybody's left. All right. Well, so that's this coming that Sunday. That is Sunday, right. March okay. 13th. A couple of notes, and thanks to all of our guests. You know, that's right. People that don't have fun in this city are missing something. They I are. Know, that's that's I'm, I'm going excited all about all that, that Piano Man concert. Yeah, that concert should be, coming that up. That should be awesome. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube now. We have a YouTube channel. Just uh, click on the E Plus TV e Plus 6 logo TV. and editions of Six in the City. A lot of the things are being done on E Plus TV 6 are showcased there. Some of our studio, right. studio sixes are there. And so we're getting a lot of views. You we can appreciate always watch that. us live on eplustv6.com. So stream and us live. Check that, that site. And, and, we're and then you can right see there. us tonight on PBS because we're going to be doing the telethon. We're doing the telethon tonight for PBS on this Tuesday. And so we'll look forward to the nitty gritty dirt band and also finding your roots. Finding your roots. <clears throat> going to find our roots. Well, you know, I, I see, don't know if I want to find I've my seen roots. some of those shows, and what happens is you didn't know that was in your route. I know. I, I, I don't know if I want to find my you roots. You only thought you were Irish. That's what they told you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. So we'll find out about all that tonight on, on PBS. The Jackson Fire Department announced this week a new campaign to bring fire prevention and survival awareness <clears throat> to the city of Jackson. It's Operation Stay Alive. So we'll be looking for details on that. And the Jackson General sent us a note that uh, season, uh, I mean, single individual game. single game tickets go on sale to, to all the fans this coming Friday. And we're into baseball about a month from now, ready to go. And Dolly Parton has turned 70 years of age and announced this week she's going back on tour. Oh, on first, tour? For the first time in 20 years. Oh, wow. Kind of an acoustic thing, but it is. And the 70 years. Well, she sure doesn't look 70 years. I need, <laughs> I need to hook up with her person that she See what's has. what's going on. And we're delighted to have uh, Mickey Ellie and Tony Rossi with us. Mickey, the CD, how do people get this, or where do they find out more about your music? You can go online, Steve, at uh, www.mickeyutleymusic.net. Mickeyutleymusic.net. Mickey okay. And uh, this what You working on some more stuff, I take I it? I am. We're okay. fixing to start cranking up on a new album here in probably about a couple of months. Okay. Uh, with Tough Duck. And I want to thank Tony Rossi from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, Tony's good Tony, to have you with you us. Thank you for being appreciate here. Appreciate you being here. You've been a joy. All right. Well, guys, we appreciate it. It's, uh, Thanks, the CD is called Get It, Get It. Uh, Mickey does a lot of work. It works down at Tunica, a lot of other places. So just catch him around wherever. Mickey, a real pleasure. So thank yes, you very thank much. You. I'm going to close out. This is Mickey Utley. See you next week. You can listen to the engine moaning out a one night song. You can think about the woman or the girl you knew the night before. But your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do when you're riding 16 hours. And there's nothing but to do And you don't feel much like riding You just wish that trip was through But here I am On the road again There I am Up on the stage here I go, playing the star again, there I go, turn the page. Will you walk into a restaurant, strung out from the road, and you feel the eyes upon you as you're shaking off the cold? And the sweat pours off your body 
just wanting to explode But here I am On the road again There I am Up on the stage There I go Playing the star again There I go Turn the page 